Good afternoon. It is June the 27th, 2016, the second trading day after Brexit, and the market sold as expected. We came in this morning um, with two sell zones, uh, 9 to 14. We had the high right here just above 2010, and we had a nice retest failure trade setup. Really kind of a slow grind down. Lots of volatility in these indi individual bars. Um, not a lot left when you took out the bars lows uh, without some retracement. But the direction was slowly down all day long. We had a buy in the 86 to 91 area. And we had a low of 82 when it was all said and done. So this was the first thing that bumped into our buy zone right there. Uh, get some short covering. Uh, we said 96, which was a trading target, a low volume number. 96.50 to 2,000 was resistance before taking lunch. And had a nice little triple test right there that uh, took us back down to the 1984-85 uh, area, which is where we sit right now. Uh, so the uh, the calls were pretty good. We knew from which side we wanted to trade. Um, the uh, You can counter trend trade, but it just doesn't have as much going for it as the um, go with the trend. Okay, look, a huge day, and that, that, that was 120 points. Uh, we do have a lower high and a lower low. Uh, we are headed, my guess is right now, to minimally the 75 area and probably the uh, 61, uh, 62 area. Uh, so uh, market is pointed lower on F1. Find a place to sell it. Looking at F2, and it's not going to really change. Uh, uh, we're going to have uh, that 95 to 96 uh, is going to be, say, 95 to 2,000 will be prime sell territory. Uh, when we look at the market, and this is the last rotate up was at 96 and a quarter. Then 95.25, then 92.25, we're currently at 87.50. So um, for London, uh, we're going to make, uh, well, we'll adjust this in the morning. For London, we're going to make it 89 to 94. So one, that's very, very aggressive. And then 99 to 04 for sell two. On the buy side, 75, 77, buy one. And then we're going to drop it down to 60 to 62 for buy two. Really not too interested in the um, uh, long side of the market. Okay, the knob spread expanded today. It did trade up. Looking at the 10 year. And you ask why we continue to look at the 10-year. Well, it, it, it's where the volume's done. It is the contract where the hedge is put on. So we uh, that's where we do our studies. We go to the high volume one. Um, might be moving to the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ, um, I'll have to figure out uh, how to um, get some more out of my chip before we can do that. But uh, it has less volume than the E-mini. Therefore, the games that are played are fewer and farther between. Inside day on the F1 screen for the note. That's his, his trading range. Uh, the bias will be to the upside. And uh, you can see right now we're dealing with a P with volume moving up. We had volume on Friday down at 32.14. We've got volume today in the day session at 33.09. So that's quite a bit higher. So that should lead to a retest of resistance. Uh, support is um, basically the buck to 04, so 1 to 5 by 1. And then 25, 29 by 2. Uh, we've got to get through and take out the um, 16 to 20 level, and then we're at 9. So selling failure to take out 12 to 16, sell 1. Then maybe 23, 27 for sell 2. Okay, when we're in trending markets, uh, we want to engage the market um, 
at the number one level. We're trending, we think that works out pretty well. And bracketed markets, we're really only interested in the number two. In an uptrend market, we're going to back our, uh, we're going to delineate where resistance is right now, but um, we're going to back our number two points away from that. And you, you have to get used to that over time. <clears throat> Looking at the 30 year, um, 8 to 12 is where we are, so that's one. Uh, 23 to 27, leaning against that high right there. That's two. Actually, it'd be cell one. And then 7 to 11 will be cell two. Really not very interested in the uh, short side of the market, unless the E-mini in a rally, then, then we are. Uh, on the buy side, um, Ah, this is really, really, really close. So 24, 28 would be number one. Uh, buy one, 17 to 21. And then um, five to nine for buy two. Get gold. Um, huge day. I mean, the other day. Uh, trading range is also implied here. It takes a while to work off that kind. I mean, there there was so much damage done on that day. Uh, you really remove the people that were thinking short from the market. Uh, this is today's action. It is a B. Uh, so trying to trade higher, we rejected prices above 35. So the first sell is 35, 37. Uh, then 40 to 45 for sell two. Going to give a little extra room. On the uh, buy side, 23, 25. And then uh, we're going to make 15 to 17. I do like the long side of the market. Okay, crude oil, lower high, lower low. I think we're headed to uh, 45 even. Could be there tomorrow. And here's today's distribution. We have a P in a down market. That is short covering. Uh, we pretty confident that we we're going to get to 46 today. Um, so maybe a little lower in London, not breaking. Uh, 45.50. 75 by 1, then 44, 75, 45 even for buy 2. On the uh, sell side, 46, 50 to 75, sell 1, and then sell 2 will be 47, 47 and a quarter. And the euro.
inside day trading range. And that's to be expected after trend days. People don't you want to get short or long depending on what the which way the trend day moved, but don't expect to extend the range. So we had pretty good buying uh, against 110. Good enough that we didn't even go for stops below 110. I do think we're headed lower. Uh, we're at 47 right now, so uh, maybe a little higher in London. Hard to say right here. Maybe uh, 65, 75. Right in here. Sell one. 111 even. Sell two. Uh, on the buy side, um, 1025, buy one. Don't really like that trade, but that is where support is. And then 110 even for buy two. We're going to go back and we will revisit that uh, 109.50 area. Don't know when or how long it will take. And that's it for June 27th, 2016. We'll put the E-mini up and see if we can get another trade. But it looks like we're going to have a fairly quiet close.